Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Listen, David, you don't have to be so gloomy about it. I'm not gloomy. Well, you haven't said a word since we left the house. For which you should be very grateful. I don't see what's so terrible about your having to drive me down to the village to take a driver's test. No, you don't, huh? Besides, now, remember, I didn't ask you. You offered. Well, I had to. I would have been perfectly delighted to drive down by myself. That's just the point. Can't I make you understand? Understand what? That you're not supposed to drive yourself when you don't have a license. But I do have a license a whole year. You were with me the day I passed it. Now, you ever got it, I'll never know. Well, Except I got it. bamboozled the man into giving it to you. Now, let's not go through that again. David, not so fast. Not the last time. Don't worry about me driving it. You're not supposed to drive unless you have your license with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you've lost it, you either have to pay the penalty of not driving until you find it or of waiting until the Bureau of Licenses sends you another. Or, or you do what we're doing. Go down and take a test. Well, I think what we're doing is silly. You're entitled to your opinion. No, it doesn't seem to do me any good. I don't want to have to take another driver's test. What's the matter? Afraid you can't pass it? Ha, huh, listen to him. I can pass it with my eyes shut. Well, sometimes I think you drive with your eyes shut. Now, listen. Now, now listen here. You volunteered to drive me downtown, so don't be so disagreeable about it. Unless you just volunteered because you think I'll fail. Now I'm accused of being disagreeable. Sorry. Look, darling. I thought the best thing for everybody concerned, seeing as you lost your license, was... It's just to drive down to Eastbrook and take a test for a Connecticut license. Hmm. After all, since you're a Connecticut Yankee, you might as well drive with a Connecticut license. It's just a lot of balderdash. Uh, what is? Well, if I can pass a test for a license in New York, why do I have to take another one for a license in Connecticut? Because it's the law. Huh. Whenever men do things in a silly way, they always say it's the law. I think we women ought to get together and straighten out the law. You oh. would certainly let it get awfully complicated. Every state has its own driving regulations. If you want a license in that state, you observe those regulations. That's all there is to What's it. the matter? Doesn't Connecticut have any respect for New York? Connecticut loves New York. New York thinks I'm all right. And I suppose they told you personally. After all, driving is the same in Connecticut as it is in New York, no? No. It's only easier, not half the traffic. Mm. But you certainly drive the same way. You drive on the right, you put your... Hand out, step on the clutch, stop when the lights... Re- this is an awful waste of I time. I don't need a net, need a lesson. I should have known. Here I am staying away from the office just so I can get a get you a license, and all I get is complaints, oh, poor excuses. You. Actually, I, I think it's awfully sweet of you, David. I do. You do. Well, this whole business of a license, it just seems. To... Oh well, I suppose since it's the law. Of course it's the law. Exactly. How long have you been driving around without a license, Claude? I have a license. It's just lost. Well, uh, how long? Uh, I don't know. I just found out that I lost it a few weeks ago. So, well, it couldn't be very. A long. few weeks ago. Yeah. So it couldn't be very long. No. Don't you realize what would happen if you were caught running around without a license? I don't realize what. Well, you would have been fined for breaking the law. That's what. It's a misdemeanor running around without a license. Nobody caught me. Well, you're just lucky. You have no moral sense whatsoever. Oh, I have a lot of moral sense. But if a person can drive, well, a person can drive. Yeah. The proof of the pudding is I haven't had an accident. No, knock on wood. If I had an accident, and they would have found out that I'd lost my license, well, that would serve me right. But since I'm an excellent driver, it's none of anybody's business. Now, there's no point in arguing. I can see that. None. Where do you think you lost your license? If I knew, I'd find it again. No. Darling, haven't you ever lost yours? I have not. Well, you're wonderful. I'm just grateful I found out about you now. The thought of you gallivanting around the countryside. Yeah, but with... you make it sound like a crime. Well, it it's is a crime. It's just a little misdemeanor. You said so yourself. I had to marry a woman. Most men do. Oh. Oh, David, come on. Let's not argue. I'm perfectly willing to take another test. I'm just sorry that it's such a waste of time for you. Well, it is a waste of time for me. You just remember that. Well, then you should have let me drive downtown by myself. That's the whole point. You can't drive without a license. I can, perfectly, half for weeks. Oh, I give up. Thank heavens we're here. I bet you don't think I can pass a driver's license test in Connecticut. Well, I wouldn't stake my life on it. Oh, uh, it's 
certainly lovely when a person's husband believes in a person, so it fills a person with such confidence. Well, the trouble with that person's driving is you have too much confidence and not enough talent. Oh, sweeter and sweet. David, why are you so grumpy? I'm not grumpy. Well, you are. Is it because you love me? I suppose so. Is it so awful to love me, well, dear, dear? Pretty awful. Hmm, I guess so. Well... Here we are. There is the town hall. The woman will get out of the way. I can park the car right here on the street. Oh, wonderful. David, you, you'll come with me when I drive the little man around, won't you? Oh, we'll see. Say, he wouldn't he wouldn't be going to ask me to park it in backwards, would he? <laughs> you'll probably talk him out of it. Well, after all, I have a license from New York State, so why should he? <laughs> Please, let's let's just not go through all that again. Say, is this going to take very long? Yeah, it just depends on you. Good, then I can drive you to the station. Well, if you pass your test, they'll give you a temporary license. Honestly, oh, such a rigmarole. All right, here we go. Oh, now, watch out crossing the street. I'm watching, darling. The only license they'll give you is to a cemetery. Claudia, didn't you see that car? I saw it. He didn't see me. Honestly, the way some people drive. Have you at least brought identification? Of me? Of course, of you. I brought you. You can tell him who I am. That won't be enough. Don't you have written identification? Well, I always use my license, as you know. It's lost. So, so... we'll just have to hope the police sergeant trusts you. Oh, it's going to be a policeman. I expect so. Oh, well, still, they're usually kind of nice. They always have wives and children at home. Makes a difference in a man. I should say it does. Bureau of Licenses. It should be on the main floor. Mm, marriage licenses, too. Wish we were getting a marriage license. Well, we have one already, and one is sufficient. You know, our marriage license is for New York State, Dave. It'd be nice if we could get one for Connecticut. Like a driver's license? Mrs. Norton, someday I will know whether you mean it when you say things like no, that or not. That's what you think. Now, come on. Here we are. Uh, is this where we apply for the driver's license? It is. My wife would like to apply for a driver's license. Does she know how to drive? Of course I know how to drive. Officer, this is purely a routine matter. I, I have my driver's license from New York State, and that should Show be me your license. Well, I've lost it. Else why do you think I'd be here? Uh, we've taken up residence here in Connecticut, officer, so I thought my wife might just as well have a Connecticut license. I'll have to put her through the test. Officer, can't you take my word for it? A woman's worried on her driving? Huh! <laughs> Look, lady, I'm a married man. Oh, that's nice. I thought you'd be. Uh, you were saying, officer? Now, here's the form to fill out, and here's the reading chart. Well, fortunately, I know how to read. The officer cannot take your word for it, What's darling. the matter? Don't I look as if I knew how to read? No. Thanks. Now, what does reading have to do with driving, anyway? This is so far-fetched, David. Well, you wouldn't know, but they do put up signs by the side of the road, you know, like, uh, like U-turn not allowed or stop signs, which you never notice. I've seen them. It's nice to know. We'll give you the eye test first. Oh, let's get to the driving part. My husband has to catch the train. Shh, shh. The officer's interested in you, not me. Read this chart, ma'am. Oh, you can skip that. I have wonderful eyes. I can oh, see yeah. a mile. Right close up to Read you. the chart, ma'am. Oh, all right. <sighs> From the top or the bottom? From the top. L-P-Q-S-A. Say, who decides what order to put these letters in? No. Nobody decides. Somebody must. The order of these letters has nothing to do with anything. Is it just pot luck, do you think, officer? Yes, ma'am. Just pot luck. Mm, the chart, so. ma'am. The second line. If it's not too much trouble. No, not at all. Uh, P-B-F-M as in Mary. Q. How am I doing? Superb. Go on. Oh, look, now this is really silly. My husband has to catch a train. Then read. Stop talking. Why don't they write something interesting? The third line, ma'am, please. Q-W-C-H-J. All right, that'll do. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't finish. I was just getting interested. That'll do. Now, this card, what color is it? Green. And what is green used for? Grass. Claudia, this is no time for joking. He only wants to find out if you're colorblind. That's no way to find out. Even a colorblind person would know that's green. How? Because it's green. <clears throat> I'll explain to you about color blindness later. What color is this card? Red, of course. Are people who want licenses utterly morons? Some people, yes. All right, ma'am. You can see. We've proved that much. Well, I could have told you that in the first place. Now, what else do I have to do, officer? The car's right outside. Not so fast. Red tape, that's what this is. Red tape. Are you filling out the form? Yes, I'm, I'm filling it out. Um, age... How old am I? Nineteen. Weight, height, five foot three and a half. 
Oh, why quibble? I'll make it five feet four even. That's nice of you. Color of my eyes. Hey, you got your identification with you? Well, that is why I'm filling out my driver's license, so I'll have some identity. Ma'am, what do you have to prove that you're you? Well, who else could I be? Oh, ma'am, listen. All right, all right. David, you show him yours. Your license will prove we're us. Will my New York driver's license do, officer? Oh, yeah, do fine. Just a minute. It's in my wallet in one of my pockets. Uh, not this one. M- must be back here. Why do they make men's clothes with so many pockets? They can never find anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, here, the color of my hair. I forgot. Yeah. I can't understand it. I always take my wallet with me. I must have it here somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, officer, I don't understand it, but... Well, I, I seem to have forgotten my wallet and left it in another pair of trousers or something, and all my identifications are in my wallet. I guess that settles that. David, do you mean that you have you don't have your driver's license with you? <laughs> it would seem that David I... Norton, do you mean to say that you have been driving your car, Claudia. gallivanting all around the countryside Claudia. without your driver's Hush license? Up, Claudia. No license, huh? Well, it's just a mistake. It's, mm. a, it's the first time I forgot. No license. David, it's a misdemeanor. Hush up. Who drove the car down here from River Road? Oh, uh, he did, officer, because I didn't have my license. I wouldn't dream of driving the car around without a license. You just wait until I get my hands on you. Mm-hmm. The state of Connecticut has a habit of collecting three dollars for people who drive without a license. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, they can't do this to me. I, I tell you it's a mistake. However, however, seeing as I didn't actually see you drive up without a license... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If the little lady can pass the driving test, Mm -hmm. I'll give her a temporary license and let her drive you home. I have an idea that I'd better be good. I have an idea you'd better be good or else. When you're in need of refreshment, the sight of a bright red cooler with Coca-Cola printed on it is as welcome as the flowers in May. But you don't need a red cooler at home. You already have a white cooler of your own. Your family refrigerator will hold Coke galore for the family needs and for entertaining as well. Keep it well stocked. Then you'll always have access to the pause that refreshes. Young folks don't seem to have much of an eye for the law these days, do they, Mr. King? Well, this is one of those unfortunate moments, officer. Usually, David is very considerate of the law. He is? Still, you have to find them when they break it. I guess so. He's going to have a hard time living this one down now. Yeah, too bad his wife was along. Hate to find a man when his wife's along. But it's my duty. Well, having a wife makes a lot of things different for a man. An awful lot of things. (laughs) Oh, you're telling me. For instance, without a wife, David would paint the porch furniture in the spring. But with Claudia, he paints it in the fall, and all he can do is complain. It's a tough life for a husband. Well, I better be getting home to my wife or officer of the law or not. She'll lay it down to me. Well, so long, officer. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>